Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have some beginner Cricut tutorials for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so before we get into our DIYs, I did want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Cricut Joy Machine. I was so excited to get this. I've been wanting to play around with it. So with the Cricut Joy, you can personalize just about anything. It works with many popular materials. It draws any shape and writes in a variety of styles. The compact portable design is ready to go at all times. Longer and repeated cuts and you can cut one image up to 4.5 inches wide or 4 feet long and repeated cuts up to 20 feet long. There's Bluetooth built in, so you don't need any wire to connect it to your uh, device. And it's easy to learn app for desktop, iOS, and Android is extremely user friendly. This little machine also works offline and you have the flexibility to upload your own designs as well as many inspirational pieces included. So with all that being said, I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video once again. To start off, I take my Cricut Joy out of the little carrying case. You can get this off Cricut.com. So I just took it out of there. It holds the machine, the cords, plus any um, like pens and any other accessories you may have on the back. So once I took it out, I just went ahead and measured all of the pieces that I was going to be labeling and then I go into my Cricut design space. Now when you are doing projects this is why I measure because you want to add in a square and then in the left hand corner you're going to unlock it as well as change the color to white. I then add text on the right hand bar and then I type out my wording. Now for my taller container, um, I wanted it to be long ways because um, I thought that it would just look kind of funny in the middle because it's so tall. So I did stack the letters. I chose the font that I wanted. Now Cricut Design Space has many, many fonts or you can use the fonts on your desktop. It's totally up to you. I did just go ahead and use a font that was from Cricut Access. Cricut Access has many designs. It's really a good deal, you guys. Most of the projects, you just click and go, and it will show you what kind of material you need, and it's just really, really easy. So, anyway, um, back to my lettering. So, I ungrouped in the right hand top corner. And then that way you can move your letters around, you can resize them just to make them look a little bit more cohesive. And then you just select all your letters and in the bottom right hand, you just hit weld. After I was done with the first set of lettering, I just used that same square and I repeated those same exact steps to type out all of the labels that I wanted to create. Next, it is time to cut it out. So you just wanna click make it in the top right hand corner and then it will ask you if you are using um, your material that needs a mat without a mat and you know, there's options for you to choose. Now, I didn't really know very much about the Joy because today was my first time using it and I thought that I needed a mat and then once I took the material out of the box, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the Smart Vinyl that you don't even need a mat. So that just takes a step out of it right there. So I literally just created one long sticker and then I just cut them up at, you know, as I needed to put them where they went. So anyway, once I clicked make it and I chose my mat and then realized that I didn't need a mat, I went back and changed that setting and then I took my vinyl off of the roll. I actually just left it on the roll or, 
or actually no this one because it was so long I did measure this one out and what the machine will do is feed it all the way through and measure it to make sure that you have enough vinyl so obviously I did because I measured it and then you guys this thing just went to town I was so impressed at what this little machine does it's cheap it does a lot of stuff and I'm I think it's easier than any of the bigger machines so I definitely recommend this little machine so anyway once I had them cut like I said I cut them all out and then I weeded them once I had them weeded then I put them on the transfer tape now I thought that I had Cricut transfer tape because I actually do like it better but I didn't have any, so I just had to use what I had. I got this roll off of Amazon, and it's pretty good, but it's not as good as the Cricut transfer tape. So anyway, um, once I stuck them all on the transfer tape and then cut them all out, then I take my scraper tool and I just varnish them. Now varnishing means just to scrape over the lettering on top of the transfer tape so that way your wording sticks to it when you pull it up. If you pull it up and it's still sticking to your backer paper, then just lay it back down, take your scraper tool, and scrape the corner until it comes out. I then transferred it onto my containers and when you transfer it you want to varnish it on again to get it to stick to whatever you're putting your sticker on and then I like to take the transfer tape pull it down and pull it flat with the surface if that makes sense the transfer tape just comes off much much better like that so then once I did that, that was it you guys. Look how quick and easy you can get high end looking labels and you can customize them to make whatever you like. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse decor, and much more. Everybody calls me the sign queen because signs are one of my specialties. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and then tap the bell and all to be notified every single time I upload. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment. Also, um, I just wanted to mention that I see that 80% of you guys are watching, but you're not subscribing. So like I said, I would love it if you become part of the family. So once I had the um, shapes containers done, then I do go ahead and I label my drawers. I just like the look of it and the aesthetics. Not only does it help me to know what I'm looking for, when I'm looking for it, but it just looks really nice. So I'm a sucker for anything with wording on it. I don't know why it's just a weird thing, I guess. And I also did want to mention you guys, you're going to have to bear with me. I just moved in my shed as most of you know, so it's going to take me a few tries to get used to filming in here angles and all that good stuff so I know this one isn't the best for that but don't worry um, I try to do better with each video that I do and I'm just so excited to see what this shed has in store for us as a family and I'm definitely going to be uploading on this Monday coming up and every Monday from here on out as well as Friday as best as I possibly can. That is the goal. I will do my best. I think the Mondays are going to be kind of like shorter videos and then Friday will be the longer videos. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys how to get an image off of the internet and put it into design space. So all I did was go to the internet. My best friend my best friend's daughter wanted this sticker for her car, so I just went to Google, typed in, if you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking, because that's what she wanted. I found an image that was already done and ready to go. It was $1.99, so I did purchase it, but you don't have to do that. You can save the image to your computer, and then, like I'm showing you here, 
um, you just click uh, cut rather than print that cut print then cut then you go in with that little cursor and you just erase the background that way you have a perfect cut and then you just insert it right into design space once you have your image insert it into design space then you're going to do the exact same thing that we did for the labels in the left hand corner you're going to click that little lock button it's going to unlock it that way you can change the height and width so I just change it to the requirements for the Cricut Joy which is four and a half wide and then you can make it however long you want but for stuff like this it's like a sticker or you know a label you kind of want it to be square so that it looks right so I did do this one four by five by I actually did adjust it down just to make it a little bit bigger but it really probably should have been a square I mean it still looks really good I would just suggest a square if you can get away with it unless it's like a longer word or something so you be the judge you can see um, on the design space how it's going to look before you cut it so anyway like I did before I just click make it um, my um, mat was already chosen which was the smart mat I cut it out and then I put it on her car after I put it on the transfer tape and she was so thankful and so in love with her little sticker so she actually told me that you can make a lot of money making stickers so um, just to let you guys know that she said people pay upwards of $20 for these which I was totally blown away so Moving on to our next project, because my best friend helps me so, so much, I wanted to make her a card. So I did get a pack with already cut cards, envelopes, and the insert sheets. So I also got the card mat. So I just took my card, you take the plastic piece off of the card mat, you slide the card through the mat, there's like another plastic piece and then the top piece is sticky that way it holds the flap down while it's cutting and then you just load it right into the machine after you have chosen your card design put that in design space and then click make it once again um, but I got that off Cricut Access and when you do that it's already set up for you already ready to go you just have to click make it and then it'll give you the prompts to do it once it was cut then I just slowly pulled the card off of the top and as you can see the sticky part of the card maker um, holds down whatever was just cut out and then you just take your insert sheet and insert it in the corner pieces that it cuts out for you and then look how quick and easy you have a card if you're late to a birthday party and you're like oh crap I forgot a card you just go on your Cricut Joy it literally takes five minutes and you can make high-end amazing cards for very very little for a very very little price so last but not least I wanted to make a shirt for my daughter I actually wanted to make it for the baby you guys so I once again went into Cricut design space I chose the design that I wanted which was a heart and it said love in the middle in squiggly cursive writing so once again I just resized it in design space I sent it over and or I clicked make it obviously but um, once you click make it then you choose your material as well I forgot to mention that before um, you choose your material so I am using the smart iron-on which once again you do not need a mat and when you click smart iron it iron on sorry guys of course it's 1:45 in the morning surprise surprise and melissa cannot speak <laughs> anyway 
the machine knows that it's smart iron on so you just want to put your smart iron on sheets with the shiny side down into your machine and when you're doing iron on you always want to mirror your image which is an option before you cut it after you click make it then the option is in the left hand column so once it cut it out, then I weeded it. I started by pulling from the corner and then I weeded the inside. Now, I thought I had a onesie big enough for the baby, but I didn't. And then this was the only shirt that I had for Sophia. So I did end up going on Cricut Design Space and just choosing something else. And then I used my infusible ink. Once I cut my infusible ink out, infusible ink does need a mat, so I put it on my mat and then let the machine do the work again. And then I just took it off of the paper. With um, infusible ink, you want to kind of curl the paper in your hands so that it comes off. And then you set your easy press to 385 or you use an iron and hold it on for 40 seconds. And then that quick and easy, you have shirts as well. There's so many options for this little Cricut Joy. I love it so much. I will be grabbing for it all the time just because of the ease of it. It's definitely my favorite machine that Cricut has. So definitely check definitely check the link in my description box. Look out for that video on Monday. If nobody has told you today, you are gorgeous, you are worthy, and I love you with all my heart and soul. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!